Captain's Vlog. Planet date 2901-2021. The crew are getting suspicious. I think they're starting to realize that everything is just green screened. Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am doing a bit of a green screen overload. Yes, lots and lots of different ways to do green screens, physical screen screens, virtual green screens, background removal, matting, real time and in video editing as well. Okay, so I'm on this Wikipedia page here because this has quite a good description. So chroma key compositing or chroma keying is a visual effects and post-production technique for compositing, layering two images or video streams together based on colour hues. As you can see over here on the example picture, they've got a person there, physical green screen, you get rid of the green and then you can put the person somebody somewhere else entirely. Okay, excellent stuff. Now this of course comes with lots of equipment, so you've got to have this little stand here, then you've got these little clips, you've got to hold them on, then you've got to get lots of lighting and you've got to make sure the lighting's right. If you scroll down there's all sorts of issues here, you know, so if you've got the shadows there that, that could cause, you know, a few problems with your, with your green screen or you could use a blue screen or you could use a magic pink screen. It doesn't really matter. What you're doing is you're getting rid of a particular colour, making that transparent so it's not there and, and putting something else in its place. All right, so let's have a look at GIMP. So this is a graphics image manipulation tool. It's got a green screen there and one of the very simplest ways you can do is colour. And then down here we've got colour to alpha. Alpha being a, another word for transparency. Works best with white, it says there, but that doesn't matter. We can use green as well. So I'll pick colour from image, I'm going to pick that green, and there you go, the green has gone, it is transparent. There's lots of things to play with here, like the opacity threshold and transparency threshold as well. So if you, if you find that you're getting rid of too much green in your picture, then you can play with those and, uh, you know, just get it exactly how you want it. So that's that's the basics of it. You're getting rid of the green, the green is becoming transparent, and then what is a, whatever is behind that will show through. Excellent stuff. So there's GIMP. Right, let's have a look at exactly the same thing in OBS. Okay, so you're, you're live streaming, you've got a green screen. There's the green screen. How do we do this? Okay, well, there's a filter. There's a filter. You can add a filter, and up here, you've probably spotted it already, chroma key. Okay, so we select chroma key, we give it a name. I'm just going to call it chroma key because that's as good a name as any. And there, default color type is green. As you can see, they've got blue, magenta, and custom, so you can just set it to any color you want. We've got the, the same sort of sliders and things there, color spill reduction, smoothness and similarity, all that sort of stuff. So there you go. So I've got rid of the green. Now there's the background image. As you can see, these layers are all uh, in order. So I turn that background image off. It's just, it's just black. It's just transparent. You can turn it back on. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So this is very, very similar to uh, remove backgrounds. You've probably seen Remove background before, done a video on that. This works if you don't have, um, you know, just a single color. This has got a very complex background. It's got some green in it, but, but all sorts of different colors. And this program will remove all of those nicely. So it's very similar to that, apart from you are just getting rid of the one color. Mm, okay, excellent. So background matting version two, another fantastic tool. So imagine you're outside where it's very difficult to put up a green screen. And uh, yeah, this, this this makes it green for you. So you've got person there outside, got the background, gets rid of the background, turns it green. Excellent stuff. So there you can take any video and you can you can just make a green screen. If you haven't got a real screen green screen, just, just remove the background and turn it green. Excellent, excellent stuff. Now, you can also do this with various other applications such as the NVIDIA Broadcast app. So you can download that as long as you've got an NVIDIA GPU and uh, and there you go, you, you have real time background removal. So let's let's have a quick look at that. There we go, there's me. I've got a real time background removal. You just pick your background there, got some baubles. All right, I'll swap it to that picture. There you go, I've got a new picture. And if we have a look at that in OBS as well, let's just pop that down. If I take away the squirrel and then pop me in, there we go, I'm on the telly. I'm on the telly, I'm on the telly. There you go. So that's quite simple you're removing the green and then the background will show through in the green area excellent stuff all right okay so now on to some really hardcore stuff so now i'm going to be looking at eb synth i'm going to be using this to create a virtual green screen so 
fairly similar to this, but with a, a lot more artistic freedom and fluidity. So this, again, is also free. You can download that, and that's a little application. And I'm going to be using this together with Krita, which is another free program. Now, this is basically an art program, so very much like the GIMP. Uh, so you can, you can load your images in, and uh, you can draw over them, put in your green screen wherever you want, and uh, then I will also be using HipFilm Express, which is a free video editor. Um, there's also DaVinci Resolve as well, another free video editor. Now, both of these have keying tools in them. So if you're going to be using a video editor, you need a video editor that can do color keying. This can also do chroma keys as well, all sorts of other stuff, but you have to pay for those. I'm going to be using the free version here. So this is just using a basic color key. OK, so let's dive in to some really complicated stuff now. Right, so here I am in HitFilm Express and we will just create a new project and accept all the defaults because, well, defaults are fun. And now we'll go over to the media and we will import a green screen. There's a little green screen video. And we'll also import some more media. We will pick a background. There you go. Right, so we've got a green screen, we've got a background. Let's just make a composite shot out of this. Make composite shot. There we go. Again, we will accept all the defaults because reasons. Right. And here you can see we've got a green screen. Play that. There we go. So we've got movement. You can see we've got all these shadows here and the green isn't quite right and the colouring's all off. So yeah, lots of lots of things in there. We'll drop the, uh, the background in there. So as you can see, you can't see the background at the moment. It's underneath. That's how layers work. The one on the top is the one that you can see and they, they display in order. So we've got keying here and uh, the chroma key we can't use at the moment because that's an add-on. You can buy the add-on, which is fine, but uh, we're just going to use a color difference key instead. Pop that on. There we go. And as you can see, the background is already there. It defaults to green. And if you want to make the background a little bit better, there you go. Much like in GIMP and all the other things, you can play with those sliders just to make it exactly how you want it and there you go there you go so the green has disappeared and now she is there outside the buildings and uh, and doing things for you without uh, without any green there all the green has gone for the most part anyway so there you go that's uh, that's chroma keying or color keying on a video very easy to do just drop that effect on now let's try something a little bit more advanced okay so i have some more media over here so let's import some more media and this is a captain's vlog. There we go. We'll do the same thing. We'll make a composite shot out of that. Again, accepting all the defaults. So there's me doing some things. I got my background just generally sitting in my living room. And uh, yep, yep. So I haven't, I haven't got any chroma keys here. I haven't got any chroma keys. What's, what's going on? How do I get rid of all this? Well, let's, let's, let's play with EB synth on this one. So this time I'm going to export this. And I'm going to change the defaults there to PNG sequence. You can just click on that. Select PNG sequence. OK, that's great. And we'll export now. And we'll export the contents. And that will create a big PNG sequence. This will just take a few seconds. So I'll let that run through. But uh, basically, once you've got the PNG sequence, then you can run that into EB Synth. Now, EB Synth can let you do sort of green screen effects um, if you color in the background green. Um, you can also do a whole lot more with EB Synth as well. You can put glasses on yourself, you could draw a moustache. Who knows what your mind will come up with. So there we go. We just got a load of frames. Just got loads of frames. Loads of frames. 523 of them, in fact. So that's just lots of images. Absolutely perfect for EB Synth. Right. Let's crack open EB Synth then. There we go. EB Synth. Fantastic. So now we can select that video. We'll pop over here, back into my media, and I have got the PNG sequence there. Okay, so that's the videos, and we'll have all of those, and that's great. Crack open this advanced thing here as well, and also put the synthesis detail up to high, because that makes everything work brilliantly. Okay, now the thing is we're going to need the keyframes. We're going to need those keyframes. So what, what can I do with these? Well, this, this is where Krita comes in, or GIMP, or any art program you fancy. Any art program you fancy. I'm just going to use this because of reasons. All right, so let's open up one of those frames. And I'm just going to open up uh, 190 there. Whoops, pressing the mouse button too often. Okay, so how do I get rid of, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? All right, well, the easy thing to do 
is to select this free hand selection tool. Just give a little zoom in and do this really roughly. Just gonna go around the outline, around the outline. There we go, around that bit. Really doesn't matter how roughly I'm gonna do this because I'm going to fill it all in later with lots of other things. Pop around there, there we go, around that bit. This is, this is, this is incredibly, incredibly accurate, as you can see there, fully accurate. Pop over there and then round again, excellent. So now I can select and do invert selection, so that's everything outside, and I can select a color over here. So let's make that uh, fully green. Go right down into the corner there, oops, zero, okay. So that's completely green and we will select a brush tool and we'll turn the size up to maximum and we'll just fill that in. There we go. Instant green screen, instant green screen. Right, so let's deselect everything. So now I can draw wherever I want. I'm gonna pop the brush size back down to 10 and select a black color. There we go, that is perfectly black. Still on that brush. And then just gonna go around the edge and fill in a sort of outline on this. There we go. Do, 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 do. Just go around the edge here. A little bit of a zoom in. Around the edge here. Around the edge here. Fill that in. Whoops. Scroll over here. Fill this bit in too. So it doesn't really matter how roughly you do this because with EB Synth it isn't entirely accurate. Do, 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 all the way around the edge here, all the way around the edge here. That's it. Pop down, scroll out, there we go, all the way around here, all the way around here, all the way around there. Okay, there you go. So now I've got a black outline and I can fill things in. I also like to do various things like the eyebrows and the eyes and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to take a little while. So in, uh, in in true Blue Peter style, I think I have one I made earlier. So let's crack that one open. There we go. Right, so there's one I made earlier. Basically gone around the edge, filled my hair in pink, filled in the eyes, filled in the teeth. And uh, yeah, there, there we go. So uh, highly artistic. Now, of course, if you were more artistic than me, then uh, you could do something a lot better. And uh, and yes, yes. Anyway, so once you've got a few of those, once you've got a few of those, that's your keyframes for EB Synth. So I select that, and then you can just select the keyframes folder. There we go, and select the keyframe. Now I've got three keyframes in there, as you can see, 60, 190, and 400. And that will fill in everything there for EB Synth. So let's just run that through. And uh, of course, in true nerdy rodent style, I will modify time because that takes a few seconds. Okay, and now that's finished, we can pop back into HipFilm and import those image sequences. Import image sequence. There we go. Over to the media. And we've got these new directories here. So we'll import that one. Import image sequence. And we'll import this one. And then the same again, import, image sequence, and the final one, there we go. Okay, great stuff. So let's make a new composite shot out of this, but we will make it the same length as the original. So we'll put that up to 17, 14, thank you. Pop that back over to the viewer. So there is the first one. I'm gonna switch that to frames to make this a little bit easier. So that's 60 and then 190. So if I go over to frame 60, there we go. Put that one up to there. Put this one up to 190. Do, 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 do. So there somewhere. Up to 190. There we go. So have a quick play of that. As you can see, rather badly animated, but never mind. It does does the does the things it does the things and you can do exactly the same things with that just to uh, throw on the color difference key and uh, yeah we'll, we'll put that on there goodbye put that on there goodbye put that on there goodbye there you go there you go 
And uh, if you want to see, you want to know that it really is transparent, you can change it there to a, a checkerboard background just to make sure. And much the same thing, you just throw in a background, there you go. And that about covers it for green screens in every way, shape and form. I will uh, now leave you with a few of these rather weird videos. Rodent out for now. Captain's Vlog. Planet date 2901-2021. The crew are getting suspicious. I think they're starting to realise that everything is just green screened.